I'm going to walk you through a brief description of the Leica CM1850 UV cryostat, the display and the buttons, and also how to set your values. The first thing is setting the time. This is your actual time, so it's 316 is what it's set to. In order to change that, you can press the negative or the plus and adjust it accordingly. This is your automatic defrost time, and you can set that the same way, the negative and the positive, and it goes in 15-minute increments. So right now, it's set at 2.30 in the morning. And just a tip, you set that for a few hours before you actually want to work on the instrument so that it can recover. The next is the cryo chamber temperature. This is the actual. And if you want to adjust that, all you have to do is press the negative or the positive and set it to where you want it. This is the Peltier, and that's a thermoelectric cooler located on the quick freeze shelf. And it's underneath these two stations here for your tissue chucks. And when you press that button, uh, that will come on for 10 minutes and it will uh, the temperature will actually get 10 degrees colder than the actual cryo chamber temperature. These buttons over here control the specimen head um, advancement and retraction um, of the microtome. Uh, this is your coarse retract, fine retract, fine and coarse advance. When it's fully advanced, this LED will uh, illuminate and when it's fully retracted this LED will illuminate as well. <clears throat> when you press the course retract it will naturally want to home so it, that this will blink until it actually gets to its home position and the furthest retracted position and once that happens um, this will illuminate solid. This is your manual defrost button, and the way to put the cryo chamber into defrost is manually is to press this button and then subsequently uh, press the plus or the minus button on your set temp for the cryo chamber temperature. In order to def manually defrost the um, the quick freeze shelf, what you'll do is you'll press this button again and subsequently press this button and it will put that into defrost. This is your cryo chamber light. And this is your lock button. Um, when you press this and hold it for five seconds, uh, it will lock this display so you cannot change any of the parameters here. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. And the way you know it's locked is if this colon in between the time, um, if that goes out and it's not there anymore, you know it's locked. So I'm going to hold this for five seconds and that colon should go away. And then right now I can't, I can't do anything. Um, and then to um, unlock it, you press and hold it for another five seconds and that colon should come back and it should be responsive again. There you go. If you would like to activate the ultraviolet disinfection cycle, if you press this button one time, the cycle will come on for 30 minutes. If you press and hold it, the cycle will come on and illuminate these LEDs, and the longer cycle is 180 minutes. That is the overview of this cryostat. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the like button.